It's just exactly that waiting to happen. And it happens, or almost happens, all the time. It's just, it's going to happen, guaranteed. And uh, it's truly a concern. Now, the other thing, I live south of the college. I like Joplin Street. I use it a lot. My wife uses it every single day to go to work. Um, I don't know of another university in the state that doesn't have a number of roads going through it. Um, maybe that's changing. Maybe I haven't seen some for a while. But uh, I don't know of any that are just completely shut off. And um, one other thing, a little plaza thing, and this is just for information. You might want to check it out. I talked to some firemen one day and they, I said something about the sign at the deal that the fire truck's supposed to be able to knock down with their bumper if they have to go in to the campus and they all just snickered. Said if it's been there two or three years, don't bet on it. So that sign might want to be changed out every year or two to, to make sure that that's an easy accident. Yes, sir. Yeah, I've got- uh, What's your Doug, name, sir? Doug Barber. 415 South Broadway. I, I I don't drive, but I run on the pack bus, and they go both in the Axe Library. One goes one way, one goes the other way. And also, the access to emergency vehicles getting across that way, I don't know. It would, it would take more time to get across there if it, that road was not going through, and um, I wouldn't see why they would close it if there was no accidents from on Joplin. I, as a citizen, I wouldn't understand why they would close it if there's been no accidents to that. And also, I saw something that might help with this situation is a uh, National Guard. I saw was one on one side, one on the other way. Caught when there were crossing guards that stopped traffic, nobody went ahead of it uh, to try to get around. They stopped traffic, and then once they uh, once they got across, the adults got across. Then they let the traffic go, and, and it. I think in that situation, that would be a consideration of if they're thinking about. Uh, and they have a uh, yellow things on, on the bottom of their, uh, kind of like a light jacket, and it would, or something that would say stop, and that would be a way of where you won't stop traffic for hours, but just for a very short time. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Hi, my name is Keith Gwynn. <clears throat> I understand one reason I want to close South and Street, so you can park and you can walk around the university and enjoy the campus. Well, I say, why barricade it? Why not leave it open so we, we can still drive <coughs> through the campus, we can drive down Joplin Street and still equally enjoy and appreciate Pittsburgh State University. Thank you, sir. Um, yes, my name is Jeffrey Agnew. I live at 108 West Billings. Uh, I lived in Fort Scott for 11 years, and they have lots of catwalks they go up over the road. I don't see why we couldn't just do that, and just build catwalks over the road so that way Joplin stays open and the students are safe. Very expensive. It's a good idea, but they're very expensive. This is a public meeting. Let's just go. I have no way to see you, what Dr. Bryant said. This is a wonderful plan. It is uh, actually well thought out, except I do believe if you do close Joplin Street, what you're going to do is people are going to go to the path of least resistance, which is not going to be Broadway. It's not going to be Rouse. It's going to be down Homer. When you go down Homer, you're going to end up going right down, right by the elementary school, which granted is not in Smithson all the time, but there's a wonderful place the kids go and play all the time, and there will not be cross guards there while they're there playing in the summer, after hours, and things like that. Those kids, God love them, mine are there, they don't look. And if you increase the traffic there, where I guarantee they're not going to be college age kids running around, you'll have more likely of accidents there than you would crossing jobs. Thank you. Uh, we keep talking about safety.
safety and safety of the Pittsburgh State University students, and I admire that. Um, but I've got to tell you, I live on Homer. My name is Miranda Ortiz. I live at 2007 South Homer. I'm right across the street from the elementary school. When Joplin was closed for the renovations of the stadium, I can tell you, days that were outside, traffic is greatly increased. I know you guys have done studies. I know you've looked at things. I can tell you there's people speeding through there. And I can't even imagine at 8 o'clock in the morning when Nettles is going into session at 3 o'clock how you plan on keeping Nettles students safe, people that live in this community keeping their children safe. Two to 300 students that go to Nettles. There are parents that park across the street and wave their kid over. There are children, the lady that lived in our house before us, her child, her child was struck on Homer just with the traffic that we have now. I cannot fathom having the increased traffic that this will cause, as Joan said, on Homer, because it's a path of least resistance, how we are going to be able to keep five to 11 year olds, two to 300 of them, versus 18 to 25 year olds who should be able to cross Joplin and watch for a car. My husband of Fry Hart, 2305 South Stillwell. I disagree about Homer for only one reason, because they come down still well to avoid the school <laughs> zone. And they speed, and I keep thinking, call the police and ask them just to put up a trap for a couple of days, because I watch the cars go by and wonder why they haven't hit a child, because a lot of children do walk to school. Sir? Brian Ortiz, 2007 South Homer, with my wife. Um, if you do barricade off Pittsburgh State University, and it sounds like a great plan and all, all the surrounding streets are going to absorb it. All the traffic is going to go to the surrounding streets. Somebody's going to get hurt. Amen. Amen. And yes, I, my name is Nancy Scott. I yes, live on Normal Street. Yes, it's Normal, just down the street from George Nettles. And my comment is, uh, and I can certainly, I've had college students myself go to other universities, so I'm very sensitive to what Dr. Bryant was talking about. But I also, I've lived in my home 18 years. This is my home, and my, the quality of life for me and those of my neighbors, whether they have children going to George Nettles, or whether they're older people, or we, for uh, a period of time, we had three people in motorized wheelchairs that could get out on our street and go around the block and enjoy the neighborhood. Well, Ford Street got widened, that's a block away, okay? It got widened, but then we had an apartment complex go in, and the campus expanded. And I can tell you, my husband and I walk our dogs twice a day, and there is now a tremendous difference. Not only in the amount of traffic, of course, because it's a four lane, busy street on Ford Street, but it's going faster, the traffic, mm -hmm. and they're flying through my neighborhood. They run the stop sign. They run the Ford and, and they, they do. My name is Norma Tanny Hill. I live yes, on East Quincy, and um, <coughs> the traffic on Quincy is bad now. Well, I try to back out of my driveway about 20 till 8, and until 8 and a little after in the morning, I have a hard time getting out. And the traffic coming from uh, east to west, then they meet Homer where it goes south. Cars coming north on Homer try to get there. So the cars coming towards Broadway, they can't turn south because the traffic coming from Broadway going east, it's already bad. And if you close Joplin, it's gonna be a lot worse. Now, our daughter lives in Austin, Texas. We were down visiting her a few years ago and she drove us around through the University of Texas